Hey guys, so this is my bicycle. I've owned this bicycle for around uh, 17 years. And uh, one of the biggest problems that it has been having is uh, the brakes. The brakes, these are not the original brakes. And so they really give me a hard time when it comes to stopping. And I've been having, so this is the time I want to upgrade it. So these are the parts I'm planning on replacing. This is a new rim, a new tire. I'm planning on replacing this rim because mine has a very huge crack on the sidewall and uh, it ended up bending, which is not good. This is the hub that holds the the rotor and also the gears, the gears in Akwanga kwa basically that that are run by the chain. So this new hub in a whole new disc. The normal hubs in Akwanga too nele said yeah gears pekiake but normally doesn't have the this side of the so this is the brake rotor that is normally fitted at the back wheel or front wheel and its work is to be fixed together with this these are the calipers easy in lowers in Akamata you rotor and makes the brake to the bike to stop uh, this is the brake cable these are the spokes and uh, this is a different kind of brake, it's called uh, a band brake. I accidentally bought this without knowing what it was, but uh, I'm planning on installing it on the front wheel. Yeah. So, also I don't have the tools and the skills and the know-how how to install these things in a bicycle and I can't dare risk since I'll have a very high probability of breaking parts and destroying things so I'm planning on taking all this to a professional to do this work for me yeah I hope you learn a thing or two uh, my brakes have been the most problematic things in that bicycle since I first owned it 17 years ago I think it's time for an upgrade it's, there's nothing as bad as riding a bicycle which doesn't have good brakes anything can happen anytime so yeah let's do this so this is the crack I was talking about. This is what is forcing me to replace the whole rim. And again, uh, this is the normal hub of normal price cost. One side has the gear sides and the other side is just sealed. So the new hub is going to connect the rotor together with the gears so that the brakes can be on this side and the gears can be on the other side. So I'm planning on slowly upgrading this bicycle slowly modifying it yeah and we'll see where it goes so this is the new rim that uh, is going to fit there so i don't really know it. what comes next i'm just doing my best even though i'm so stressed out everything just feels like a test that i fail so depressed. so here it starts by removing the gears uh, that was mainly because that was the only thing that we were able to reuse uh, since this was a completely different uh, setup from the previous one but something deep inside won't let me quit i swear that i'm inspired by all this tell me that i can and i won't that's what guys me the most you can lie i'll do what i want the girl she's so bad 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 the girl so this is the old room this is why it had a very huge crack, very very huge crack, and it's very very dangerous. So that's the reason why I had to replace the whole of this thing. Yeah. You see this, this is the main reason I was running away from doing this installation myself. This thing requires some kind of skill set. My brother, my friend, if you don't have, you're easily going to mess. Ninge kwa ni meuma nje proper, akia nani ninge you see, it started with nothing. Zaya kona something. Mimi ninge jaribu yu mchezo ningeanza na nothing na nimalizia na nothing. Na nibaki nikitoa machozi yapu. So, what is trying to do right now, nile tunaitanga will balancing. It's trying to make sure that uh, the tension is okay through all the spokes. Iso spokes nyo zinashikiyanga yu mugu na inabalance vizuri. So if one side is more tight than the other, mugu inanza kuwabulu wabulu inatingika. So he's finally done with the, with the alignment part of it. So he's trying to assemble everything back together. He's fitting the tube, he's going to inflate the tire. 
so the the hard task is finally done uh, yeah so it's now putting the the tire back to the bicycle as you can see the rotor has uh, finally been installed there's a new thing there that was never there before So this is the progress, as you can see the rotor has been installed, this is not meant for this bicycle so I don't have any place of mounting the brake calipers. So now we have to modify so that this can, uh, this can sit here. Yeah. So in this step I had to go look for an Omondi to, do, to fabricate uh, this bracket for me. Uh, if you're from Kenya, you know very well that the Omondis are the ones that do a great job when it comes to welding and fabrication. This was a very crucial step because uh, easy brackets, in case you welded a bracket that was too thin. Uh, first of all, easy bracket was in a clear rotor. And the moment you hold on the brake, you force your tena kujanga kwa easy bracket because you welded kwa the bike. So if it's too thin, it has a break off. Uh, if it is misaligned, it has a bend easy rotor. Na hii kazi yote ningekuwa ni mifanya ni kuchora giza. But at least I'm glad he did a very good job. Everything was aligned well and uh, everything worked out well. So he did some light but uh, very thorough welds. And you akikisha hiyo chume imeshika vizuri hiyo body ya bike. And also to prevent uh, from cutting through the metal, easy welding is in a cutter through chuma. So after finishing, he painted uh, the spot and you could prevent uh, rust, of course. And yeah, it took like 250 sana by the way. So apart from, of course, kuongezea stopping force yako ama braking system yako, mazizi brakes kuna venye zinafanya bike yako inakaka subaru flani. It looks very sophisticated, lakini hakuna kitu iko hapo. Sasa mimi na gari za mira ni bumper to bumper. Akikanyaga break nimekanyaga break. Kama ninayo nayo tunaenda. This is a, a DIY that anybody can do. It's not complicated. Weburake you know what you're doing and you find the right professionals to do all those steps. In case of one mishap, you can risk losing a lot of money because these parts are not cheap. So after finishing, I, I definitely had to go test them out. So I called my friend, Mwenye kuna Subaru kama yangu, hizi za migu mbili, Mwenye unapeleka na migu yako, haina tabo, tabo niwewe na langzi zako. So that we could be able to cruise around and see how they work. And uh, for sure they were perfect, I could speed a bit more with a lot of confidence in uh, how I would stop. Yeah, and it was a, it was a good project. Uh, I would encourage anybody with a bicycle money when the brakes is a kawaida to convert to disc. They have a very huge difference in, uh, in, uh, in uh, your stopping power and everything. As I come and manage to finish this video up, I'm so grateful. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your time. I'm hoping that you've learned a thing or two about uh, conversion from normal brakes to disc brakes. I'm planning on restoring this bike uh, slowly by slowly. Hopefully, I'll carry you guys through all this process. Uh, yeah, so subscribe and uh, wait for more projects to come. Till next time. <laughs>